<laughs> I felt like it. We were all singing. <laughs> Don't you just love to, to experience the feel of the Lord when he's present in the house of God? Don't you love it? I mean, I'm glad that he promised to be with us, aren't you? I mean, to feel that presence and know Jesus is here. I mean, you can almost feel him as he passes by, can't you? Passes by you, touches you, and I want you to know he loves you. <laughs> yeah, some of you, I can see it's a real job for him to do, but he loves you. <laughs> yes, he does. <laughs> uh, well, you know, if he can love me, he can love just about anybody. And I'm so glad for that. As long as we have the Lord, we have everything. I told a young man just the other day, I was witnessing to him there in the, in the lumber yard. I said, I tell this to almost everybody I talk to. I said, your relationship with God is the most important thing you've got. It's the only thing you'll have when you leave this world. It's your relationship with God, if you want to be in heaven. So, and that's the truth of it. And this being Palm Sunday, this is, this is the day that the church celebrates uh, Jesus uh, going into Jerusalem, being uh, praised and, and uh, adored as he, he and his group come down out of Mount Olive and, and heads up uh, to Jerusalem and entering in Jerusalem and then into the temple. And I've often wondered what it would have been like if Jesus would have given in to the people's request and desire at that time. They wanted him to put on the crown of David. They wanted him to become the king of the Jews. What would have happened had that taken place? But he didn't. He didn't. But he went into the temple, cleansed the temple, because the temple is a house of prayer, he says. God made it a house of prayer. People have turned it into a den of thieves. Oh, don't let us do that. Let us keep this as a house of prayer, the house of praise. We've got a couple that's going to be here, going to carry on that tradition as we welcome the presence of the Lord into our, well, into our presence today. I, I've been trying to coach some of you to help me uh, this will be the last Sunday that I'll be aggravating you. <laughs> and uh, I'm, I'm going to read uh, chapter 21, which is a triumphal entry of Jesus into Jerusalem. And I've coached you that when we come to the place where they shout, Hosanna, I want you to shout those words. Okay. Now, Jean, when her husband was living, and I was pastoring here, one day I was reading out of the Psalms, and I said, uh, the psalmist said with a loud voice, you know, and, and Lyle standing right back there, he said, Pastor Ron, he had a real booming voice, you know. <laughs> he said, my Bible says they shouted. <laughs> So we want you to shout when it comes to this because these people are excited about the fact that they think, they're, they're hoping that Jesus takes up that crown of David. So they're excited when Jesus comes down from that Mount Olive through Beth Page and uh, enters, heads toward Jerusalem. So bear with me. Let me get my specs on. The reading will be up there for you. <clears throat> Probably I'll read it. It's bigger than what I got here. <clears throat> As they approached Jerusalem and came to Bethpage on the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two of his disciples saying to them, Go to the village ahead of you, and at once you will find a donkey tied there with her colt on 
by her, untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, say that the Lord needs them and he will send them right away. And this took place to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet. Say to the daughter Zion, see your king comes to you gentle and riding on a donkey and on a colt, the fold of a donkey. Then the disciples went and did as Jesus had instructed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and placed their cloaks on them for Jesus to sit on. And a very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road while others cut branches from the trees. Should have had the kids bring their palm branches up now, should I? And spread them on the road and the crowds they went ahead of them and those that followed shouted, Hosanna to the... Come on. Blessed is the name of the one. Of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest heaven. <laughs> That's pretty pitiful. <laughs> uh, my land. <laughs> Well, let's, i tell you what, let's do it again, all right? <laughs> let's do it again. Let's get a little feeling, all right? Hosanna! Well, you're supposed to go on. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Yes. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Oh, that's better, yes. I know the Lord appreciated that. I do, I know he did. So when Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was stirred and asked, Who is this? And the crown, crowds answered, This is Jesus the prophet from Nazareth in Galilee. So Jesus entered the temple courts and drove out all who were buying and selling there. He overturned the tables. Whoa. -oh. <laughs> he overturned the tables. Overturned the tables. Come on, Paige. And the money changers and the benches of those who were selling doves. It is written, he said to them, my house will be called a house of prayer, but you are making it a den of thieves. The blind and the lame came to him at the temple and, healed, and he healed them. But when the chief priests and the teachers of the law saw the wonderful things he did and the children shouting in the temple courts, Hosanna to the son of David, they were indignant. Do you hear what these children are saying? They asked him. Yes, replied Jesus. Have you never read? From the lips of children and infants, you, Lord, have called forth your praise. And he left them and went out to the city of Bethlehem where he spent the night. I know from pastoring several years in churches that, that people are influenced greatly by what the person sitting next to them does. <laughs> and it shouldn't be that way. We, shouldn't, we should know who we are in our relationship with God and if it's real, it won't bother us what we think, he thinks, or she thinks. But when the Spirit of the Lord comes on us and we feel like offering up praise, there's no one greater than our Lord to receive our praise. We should fall down on our faces and praise him for what he's done for us. Jesus came into this world to save sinners like you. Like you. You, you, you. <coughs> Me. They named him Jesus at his birth. They called him Emmanuel, which meant God with us. 
I want you to know that the scripture says that when there are just a couple of people gathered together in Jesus' name, he's there with them. He deserves our reverence. He deserves our praise. He deserves our loyalty. He wants to make us holy. He wants us to be holy. We're singing that song, Holy, 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 Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Holy, Holy, Holy. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Oh, sometimes I tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they crucified my Lord? Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Oh, sometimes it makes me tremble, tremble, tremble. And my throat's going dry. <laughs> and I may have to quit. But were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Oh, Sometimes it made me tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they nailed him to the tree? Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? <laughs> Were you there when they laid him in the tomb. Oh, sometimes it makes me tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there when they laid him in the tomb? Were you there when he rose up from the dead? Were you there when he rose up from the dead? It caused me to shout, Glory! 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 Were you there when he rose up from the tomb? God bless you, folks. Jesus is Lord, isn't he? Yeah. Jesus is Lord. <coughs> Thank you.
Thank you. Amen.